oh look who's coming. Um, stunning thing that there's connectivity to that kind of uh, that kind of history. And here comes my my pal Carmen Harlan. Hey there. It's good to see you. Hey. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, kind of a sad day. It is. I keep telling people uh, I'll buy sad, but I won't buy tragic. Uh, no, Ninety-two no. years of an extraordinary life. It's a. It's sad that we've lost him, but what a chance to celebrate. Yes. In this community and for so many years, so that you know you look around and you expect to see John Dingle, you know, because he had that kind of uh, presence in the community and for so long. So. Hopefully we didn't take it for granted and we appreciated him as much as we should have because he broke so many barriers and meant so much to so many. Earlier before you all came out, I was talking to a National uh, Forest Service employee that's up from the River Raisin and he <laughs> says, I'm here because I wouldn't have that job to go to if it weren't for the fact that he created it Isn't that, in yes. the first place. Yes, that connectivity. There's a lot of people who just sort of pass through Washington. <laughs> and uh, but, but look at the stunning string of achievements um, for clean air, for clean water, civil rights. You know, and I, I, I didn't even know this until this past week. Uh, Rosa Parks on the bus happened two weeks before John took office. That is amazing. And then a few years later, there he is pushing, th helping push through the Civil Rights Act. And imagine the change that he witnessed throughout his lifetime. I mean, you can't live that long and not, you know, you may start out one way and God knows how much yeah. the world has changed, how much America had changed yeah. Yeah. and how it didn't, had embraced that change. And he did it the only way he knew how, and he confronted it. I mean, he was not a, a shy person by any stretch of the imagination, and he stood up for the things that he believed in. Really, it's like a Sinatra song. He did it his way, right? <laughs> well, there's, there are a lot of what I refer to as political meteorologists who always check to see which way the wind is blowing before they decide what their opinion is going to be. That was not John Dingle. John Dingle stayed very, very steadfast to what he believed was right, even to the point where at the end he told you what he, he knew that he had done some things that he regretted. He regretted not supporting gay marriage sooner. Um, you know, so he, he, would t uh, he, did, he regretted not supporting the Equal Rights Amendment sooner. Um, and he was very, very um, candid about those things, and I think that's the mark of somebody's Debbie greatness too. To Debbie helped a lot, tremendously, <laughs> in opening his eyes to what you know, might not have been something he embraced right away. But, you know, at least he got a chance to live and see something that he truly believed in, and that was health care, not necessarily a privilege, but a right. And he saw the Affordable Care Act go through, and that was something that he had pushed for and worked for his entire time in Congress. Final thoughts? I'm going to miss him, but I'm glad that we had the chats that we had during the course of my career, and I will... Uh, there will never be another one. He was a, you know, there was only one John Dingle. I just, I, I feel very blessed uh, to have had a, a friend like that and also to have a life like that that we get to cover. As journalists, we're, yeah. uh, you know, sometimes we're blessed to cover really extraordinary people, and he's one of them. But I also think that this is a really important moment, even in his passing, to show us the way forward that we can disagree without being disagreeable. We can have friendships across a political divide, which seems very lacking right now, but John in his, in his passing can lead us by example one more time. We can disagree without being disagreeable. Can we say <laughs> Remember something that. to the lovely Deborah? Uh, yeah. You know, she'll have a lot of support here at home, and don't forget that. All right, for Carmen and Devin, Jason here outside the church.